Hi, it's me, Tatiana. And today I'm just gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be playing one of my childhood games. I never read it when I was a kid, but it's called CSI. Canine Sniffer Intelligence. So let's get started. When I first saw this, I didn't know who this was. But now as growing up, I know this this cat right here, her name is Blossom. Also, I didn't know who these people were. I didn't even know these were gonna be sex suspects until I played this first time. My chew toy's missing. The hedgehog with the lovely squeak. Your mission, to find out who did it. Uh, please, if you would. And sometimes you get, most of the time you get text messages from Blossa. And I thought this was just the annoying little cat. Whoever this was as a kid. I was always wanting to hear calls from Ruff. But now... I started to like Blossom growing up at the age of grade five. Anyway, let's get on. Let's continue. There's two other games that go with this and they will always play the same kind of music. Now as I find the clues, I'll click through them really fast. I did so too as a kid. I never even actually read what they said. I never even read what the text messages I hear said, too. Welcome to the crime lab. Your job here is to examine all the evidence to find out what it is. Say, did I ever tell you how I first got my hedgehog? Oh, it was early spring and... Uh, oh, hang on a second, that's a uh, call waiting. Oh, Blossom's trying to get through. Gotta go! Honestly, I don't know if Blossom's gonna call Ruff or bring a text message to us, you know? So, now I have to- now I'm in the crime lab right here, and I have to put the evidence in- right on the screen. Plus, I click through these really fast. And then- and also, I never even read what this was either. I just clicked through it really fast. And first few times I the first time I play this, I always got most of them wrong. Like this. And some and this is where all three games of these rough explains that some of these evidence is his. Oh, hey, like yeah, this. that's actually mine. It's from a fortune cookie. I guess I need to be a bit tidier. Oh, rough. Now, when you put the the straw right here in some most of in in one of these evidence blossom will text you saying about some dna stuff but i didn't read that i just didn't understand when i was a kid i didn't understand why she would always text us about these evidence right here but now that i've read these i know i did not read these text messages back when i was a kid So exciting! You're looking at the criminal records now! You're so close! They all look suspicious! How are we ever going to find who did it? Well, I suppose I could use my powers of- Ah, call waiting again! Blossom! What now? Now, keep in mind, when I was a kid, I had no idea what Ruff was talking about. I didn't know what the criminal records was until I watched a video and of this. 
and learned what it was. This is the criminal records. All these people right here, they're on the criminal records. So, also when I was a kid, I did not read this. So I just clicked on a bunch of these like this. Because I didn't know what these words at the top meant. And I kept getting these text messages from Blossom. And this is where I mostly got stuck as a kid. And I think I mostly got stuck on this too. See what I mean? Because I did not read this thing right here at the bottom. Getting it pretty much too. I knew it! A whole gang of them! You know, Scruff Ruffman, my evil twin, was once in a gang so bad that they. Oh, more from Blossom. Sorry. <sighs> now we have to find the suspects to hold for questioning. And I've been learning the names of these guys. This one's Cheyenne. This one's Preston. This one's Garrett. This one's Michael. This one's Maya. And this one is Joseph. Now this is why Blossom was holding this for this straw right here for DNA. Okay, this is it. Don't mess it up now. I'm counting on you. This is the big one. The all important. Mm -hmm. For many people who haven't played this yet, spoiler alert, the culprit is this guy. But I wonder though, is Garrett actually this guy's real name? Or is this guy an actor and just took a photo of, like, of him? On behind a like a white screen background, I wonder. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications.